Well, good morning. Today we're sorting out a nice little kitchen job. I say nice little job. We're sorting out a kitchen fitter's work. So I'll show you around the job. Here's the kitchen fitter's attempt at moving a cooker outlet. Amazing. Cable comes down there. We've got an outlet over here for the hob, which is just gas. The cooker there, so <laughs> talk about being in the zones. Unbelievable. So we're gonna chase that up there. Pop a joint in the ceiling. Reconnect the cooker. Rework the hob. Then we've got some plinth lights which have been pre-wired, he laughs, to this transformer. So pop a fuse connection unit over there somewhere. Sort that out where the old pelmet lights were. Reuse that feed if we can. And then in the ceiling, we've got to get rid of these two lights, put eight down lights in, a couple of pendants over what will be the worktop, and try and reuse that switch. There's also an outlet going there for the fridge freezer, so we're gonna chase down there um, and crack into it from above somewhere. Right, I've just pulled this out, not with any great force. That's the connection in the back. That's come out. No sleeve in. Look at that, what a mess. This was a kitchen fitter. <laughs> Unbelievable. We'll deal them out. That's the connector. And the plot thickens. To be fair, I've taken the tape off it. Quality connection. We've got the socket in, the 6mm, just got to join the 6mm up there. Around the back. This is how I do it, I can't see a better way, into a junction box. I've got a 2.5mm feed for the hob, so I'll put the patches box under the banking plate and some Legos. And then drop down that the back into the cavity. I put some two and a half mil flex and connected it to the oven. It's not H07 because I haven't got any. But by the time it's pushed down the back there, it's nowhere near the heat source. Um, I think H07 is a bit over the top for a cooker normally, but I'll probably get criticised. Let's see. And there's a junction box. Maintenance free. Just going to shove that in the ceiling and make good. Right, I'm just going to put a spur here for some plinth lights. Now here's another classic case. Poor workmanship. See that? All I've done is I'm just going to sock it off the wall, so... The other ones were tight, so I don't think that was in. Maybe it was touching. We'll see. But that must have been... It couldn't have been tested, it would have been an incomplete ring. Anyway, let's chase that in. And see if we can get this cable through. I hate working around kitchens fitted first, it's just ridiculous. Right, so I've managed to get behind the board here. 
little grommet in the back of that box as you can see. A bit tricky. This one here. This is in a dead corner. So I've just cut the board, pull that through. We drilled a hole right down there. Got some rods through behind the dishwasher, just what you need. And I can get a cable sock on and pull that cable through. Pulled it through behind these base units and the dishwasher. Kitchen fitter is doing the plinth lights. What a state. This is all his wiring. Do you know? There's some earth there joining stuff. I'm washing my hands of that. 12 volts after I've done my bit, so I can get to it afterwards. I'm just putting a junction box on. These are the Wago 221 4 boxes, which are the right boxes for, funny enough, the 221 connectors. Um, up to the 4mm so that's how they should be terminated just close that and put a um, cable tie around it and now that's a maintenance free junction box so there's that junction box finished I just shove that under the plinth but when that transformer fails I just take that plinth off got a fuse connection unit in Flying cable, I'm going to clip that. Right, this is important. Can you see that? Pop that in there. Because I've used one mil cable. That's all the load is. I've got two and a half mil supply in it, but one mil on the load side because that's all I need. It's supplying some plinth lights. So, change the fuse to the right size. See that too often where it's the wrong size fuse. I didn't fit them, but there we go. Plinth lights. Right, now we're on to fitting down lights. So, marked up, check for clearance. And I've now got some rods through. Found one hole there with some pipes. They're trickier. So I'm using this tool from CK, Super Rods, massive long drill bit, and the old trusty ferret. <laughs> so, I think we're still going to have to cut a couple of access holes because there's two joists in the way on some of these and uh, I just can't get through. Right, I'll come back to it in a bit. Oh, we've got a feed there. Um, and then that one just comes off and feeds that one. But uh, they're all clipped to these joists, very difficult to get to. So we'll see what I can do. And he says, we've also got some in ceiling ventilation or ducting. There's two of them there. I don't know how that's going to impact it, but I haven't seen anything up there yet. Okay, let's crack on. Right, we're through. So, access hole there. Put a maintenance free junction box in. Then it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Had to go over there, six. Come back, seven, eight. So, that's the old light fitting up there in the middle. Uh, and I've cut one, two axis holes there to get through double joists, because that would have been impossible. Uh, and an axis hole there for the, to access the old clip cables. And put a new maintenance free junction box in. And this ceiling construction, 
I think I've recorded it on a separate clip. He's mad. It's a really strange city construction. First time I've ever come across it in my life. So, plenty of uh, rodding on this one. Just cut that bit of cable and off we go. Right, it's at that point in the day where the site has turned into an utter shithole. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. Anyway, we've got eight down lights in, if you can see up there. So, maintenance free junction box. I've just got to close those two access holes off where we had double joists. And that hole at the end is when I did the cooker circuit from yesterday. It's like a death trap cooker circuit. There's the fuse connection unit from yesterday. I've just got to clip that cable down there. And now I'm going to work on that circuit, which was the old Pelmet lights. And there's two pendants going above, that's temporary, it's the new kitchen going in here. Well, good morning, welcome back everybody. It's day three now of this kitchen. It's not really a kitchen rewire, a kitchen, a little kitchen job. Um, so we've got the down lights in yesterday. We've got the spur done for the plinth lights. We've sorted out the uh, dangerous uh, cooker circuit and hob circuit, which was fit by the kitchen fitter. So today we've just got a couple of pendant lights to fit and we've got a new socket for a fridge freezer. So um, I'll show the job later on and then we've got to make good to all these holes in the ceiling and do our final testing. Right, I just want to show you this. So what I've got here is the super rod. Stuck the magnet on there. Push that flexi piece through. Push the chain through the joist. And there we go, we've got the cable sock with an adapter on the other end. So that is something that without the super rod kit you would have a massive struggle with a massive massive struggle so that's taken me five minutes and i'll be able to pull the cable through there and i'm going to do the same for linking the cable through the two pendant holes less than five minutes cables routing through those holes no access hole pretty simple super rod and there are the lights finished didn't take too long I hate those lights adjusting them anyway. Finished lighting. Ceiling holes all made good. Right, that's that job all wrapped up. As you can see, I'm back in the office now. Didn't get a chance to film any more of that job on site because the phone's going mad. Everything's going ballistic at the moment. Uh, I'm working on my own, obviously. I'm trying to get somebody. Um, it's just crazy. And I've had my, I'm really, really excited because I've had my first inquiry off a YouTube viewer. So that's amazing. Uh, thanks to everybody who's watching and subscribing. And for anyone who's new around, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, and I think that's it for now. So uh, everyone have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.